Hello everyone, it's your favourite queen, Android18 here, and today I'm going to be talking about um something cool that's happened. Basically, it's about the new Sonic movie, and a lot of people think the Sonic looks weird in it, and I kind of agree. There are kind of shots which look a little strange, and <laughs> it looked quite weird, but um... I'm just going to say this video is going to contain spoilers for the new trailer for the Sonic movie, so if you don't want to be spoiled, you better click off the video until the end of the intro. Anyway, see you in a second. Okay, so talking about something that recently happened, basically a lot of the fans kind of had an outburst when they saw Sonic's design, and some of the screenshots on still frames look really creepy, and they want Sonic's design changed, and Jeff Fowler who actually directed the Sonic movie, he actually responded on Twitter. Instead of being like most like directors and companies where they get mad and, you know, have an outburst, he pretty much put this on Twitter. I'll probably get a screenshot of it so you can see it. Thank you for the support and the criticism. I'm guessing there's quite a bit of it. Oh yeah, I'll just keep, I'll read it until the end of this and then I'll say my thoughts. The message is loud and clear. You aren't happy with the design and you want changes. It's going to happen. Everyone at Paramount and Sega are fully committed to making this character the best he can be. Hashtag Sonic Movie. Hashtag Gotta Fix Fast. So, <laughs> basically, although that was quite a funny pun at the end there, I actually really respect Jeff Fowler and Sega's response to this because, like I said, a lot of companies will pretty much just go, oh, you guys are attacking us and we're trying to make something for you and you hate it. But instead they're actually listening. And in my opinion, the trailer was actually quite good, apart from some of the creepy Sonic moments. I think my main problem with the Sonic is, like most people agree, that he's a bit too lanky. Like, Sonic's known for being quite short and this classic version being quite chubby in a way. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I think this is a mix between the original and the new newer modern Sonic. But yeah, it's interesting. But pretty much, I'm really happy that the director, Jeff Fowler, I didn't actually know the director until I heard of this tweet. However, you get mad respect from me, Queen18, for listening to fans, and I actually watched the full trailer, like, a few minutes ago, and I saw a bit of it the other day, and I'm just gonna go through some of the positives of the trailer. I think Sonic's, like, attitude is probably pretty much perfect, like, it's basically modern Sonic's persona, with some of his classic kind of mannerisms, I suppose. And, um, yeah, he's fast, which is good. And there's, like, a section in the trailer where it shows a close-up of his, of his face, and that actually looked perfect to me. Like, that was pretty darn close to Sonic. And although it's not perfect, like, with the eyes and stuff, with the actual design they chose, it looked really good as a close-up. And his fur looks really good, too. But, yeah, I think the main thing that people have a problem with is his teeth, because they look human, like, human teeth. And they're really weird, so... <laughs> That's kind of funny and it is kind of creepy. I'll probably show some pictures of the Sonic and there's one shot where like there's loads of bombs and I did find it funny in the trailer what happened afterwards but you can really see how lanky he is in it and it's really kind of weird. But yeah, talking about the actual trailer itself, I think Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik's amazing. He was cracking me up as he always does. He's amazing as normal and I think he'll make an amazing Dr. Eggman slash Robotnik. So yeah, that's really good. The majority of the jokes in the trailer also made me laugh. Um, my favourite bit was probably Eggman interrupting the sergeant, because <laughs> he was funny. And I liked his, like, intellectual speech. And then, um, the guy is confused, and he gets his, his like, psychic to go, he thinks you're basic, which means stupid. <laughs> which is funny. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I think this is a really good kind of attitude from Sega, because Sega's obviously giving, I think it's Paramount, permission to make this movie, and Jeff Fowler is directing it, obviously. And I'm just incredibly happy the way they've kind of handled the situation. And please go over to Jeff Fowler on Twitter and follow him and like and share his tweet. Or should I say retweet his tweet? Because I think this is a really respectful response and it's not too common nowadays. But I'm a person who honestly loves Sonic and I grew up with it, so I like the way um fans aren't 100% happy and they're actually listening. It's just very good. And in my opinion, the trailer was mostly good, for the most part, in my opinion. So, it's mainly just the lanky Sonic and the kind of face and the teeth. Everything apart from that, to me, was cut pretty much perfect. But yeah, anyway, let me know what you think about the Sonic design. I think most people don't like it, but I like most of it. I like bits of it. So, yeah, overall positive, and I'm happy that um they're listening to people. And yeah, Matt respect Sega, I love you. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Comment on what you think about the Sonic movie trailer and tell me what you think about Jeff Fowler and Sega's 
like response to the criticism. I think it's amazing. Also, yeah, just comment on the things you want me to react to and talk about. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications for whenever I upload a video. I have a Discord and a Patreon. You can join my Discord the links in, in the description of the video as well as the link for my patreon if you want to support me there that would be really helpful because yeah i'm still waiting to get monetized but anyway i hope you guys have a wonderful day more importantly and also don't forget everyone subscribe to me because i'm definitely 18